Okay, okay. Yeah, so you can also uh, do trip planning if you want to, uh, let's say, plan a trip from London to Barcelona, mm -hmm. but let's say you want to go via Paris for whatever reason. You so you can, you can add multiple stops to a trip and plan a trip going from, from place to place to place. Uh, then again you calculate the route and now you see it calculates the route from London via Paris to Barcelona. So you can add multiple stops, being it in a, a hotel on a long journey or a delivery stop for a professional driver. Uh, that's the kind of choices you have in the trip planning. Um, you can uh, subscribe to traffic service and then you would see live traffic information for your trip, uh, taking you around uh, traffic jams and big obstacles. Uh, you can change uh, certain vehicle preferences or route preferences. If you say, you know, I, I don't want to use tall roads, I always want to avoid tall roads because if I go on a trip, I don't want to pay street toll. So now, if you, um, if you calculate the route, it gets uh, a bit more challenging because it calculated now a route uh, without toll roads. So, uh, taking you much longer, obviously, because it avoids motorways. So, um, then you have, um, you know, in the settings, a lot of options to configure your navigation. So, you can, uh, for example, choose to have speed camera alerts at a certain distance, let's say at 500 meters. Uh, you can change the language to any of the languages. It picks automatically the language on the phone, but you can uh, change that, obviously. And you have much more um, details. Uh, let's see. Yeah, units of... So it, a lot of customization you can do. Uh, you know, configuring the UI, choosing certain themes uh, to really tailor the navigation to the way you want to use it. Okay.